let's talk about transformers, specifically multi-tap transformers. So this unit here is three phase 208 volt high voltage coming into the machine. Normally, multi-tap transformers, they will come landed on the higher of the two voltages. So in this case, 240. Since it's a 208 machine, you should move the tap every time to 208. A lot of times technicians forget that. And at first, everything will work fine. Uh, your voltage, low voltage will be around 26 or so, which should be enough volts to pull in all your contactors and relays and such. But as time goes on, what begins to happen is your output voltage, your 24 volts here, begins to drop and get lower and lower. And you'll start outputting about 24. But as contactors begin to start pulling on and pulling in, that voltage gets lowered. Each load added lowers that voltage, and then you start getting around the 21 volt to 19 volt range, and you'll start getting chattering or circuit boards not acting right, temperature sensors not reading correctly, thermostats flashing. So for instance here, right now I have my meter on the 208, my transformer on the 208 side, and I'm measuring the low voltage, and I got a good solid 27.6. And there's not many things running right now. Uh, just the blower is so I have about a half amp worth of load but now I'm going to switch it over to the 240 and show you what happens to this voltage I just want to cut in real quick transformers are inductive loads meaning that the voltage applied to the primary windings induces or produces a voltage by induction on the secondary windings. The amount of voltage on the secondary windings is directly proportionate to the amount of turns of wire around the shared iron core plus the voltage applied to the primary determines the output voltage on the secondary winding. For example, if you have 100 turns of copper on the primary and 50 turns of copper on the secondary, and you apply 100 volts to the primary, you will have 50 volts output. It maintains that ratio. So if the primary windings is expecting to get 240 volts applied to it and get an output of 24 volts, and if you only put 208 volt into it, you're never gonna get 24 volts out. It will always maintain that ratio. Hence the importance of the proper voltage being applied to the coil windings. Okay, so now it's switched over to the 240 in common. The same 208 is going into now on the 240 coil. And if we look here, we now have 23.9 volts going to our control circuit and nothing's running yet. So you see it dropped almost four volts going out to our controls. Once everything starts pulling on, if I'm in cooling and we get all the compressor contactors and the condenser fan and everything running, that's gonna dip to below 20 volts. And next thing you know, you'll start having problems. So make sure on every machine that you have that's 208 rated, that you check all the transformers and make sure that they are switched over to the proper terminal. And also don't forget about any other transformers like an ignition transformer. This one here is on H1 and H2. And if you look at that, it's saying that it's on 208 and common. Because a lot of times this transformer will be on the wrong one as well and it often gets overlooked. All right, so keep your eye out for that. And trust me, you're gonna see a lot of them. Switch them over and you'll, you'll save a bunch of service calls. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll see you next time.